Rolling. Okay, so I'm going to show you this kind of boogie shape on guitar for Lay Down Sally. So here's what we're doing. We're going to cheat on our A chord. Um, we're going to hold, um, leave the string 5 open, and you just need to hold down strings uh, 4 and 3 at the 2nd fret. I'm sort of I'm muting string 1 and 2. We don't really need them here. And uh, so string 5 is open, holding down string 4, 2nd fret, string 3, 2nd fret. I'm mainly focusing on string 5 and 4. And what you're going to do is drop a finger, either your little one or your third finger, two frets above where you're holding it down. And this is the boogie shape to get uh, become familiar with. And the rhythm is... say and that's when the um, finger goes down for the E chord just shift the whole thing down so um, one string over so you hold low E is open string 5 second fret string 4 second fret I'm lifting my finger up a little bit so string 3 is muted as well as 2 and 1 so, so you can crank up your amp and it won't be ringing away making a bunch of slop so the E's going to be same thing. A. For the D chord, you need to, to get the correct interval. I do it with my first finger on string three, second fret, and my second finger on string two, third fret. And I'm going to use my third finger to go up and down on the string three to at the fourth fret here. So same idea. So one and two and three and four and so put it together, just do the song. So that's it. And once you get the hang of this, when you do boogie, you'll just actually form this as a bar chord. You can do it off C. And the lower strings. So get the hang of this shape. You got one string, then the important one is the string that's higher, and the finger is going to go down two frets above where it is. but Lay Down Sally is the easiest one because we have our open string. For A, for D, for E, back to A. Okay.